diagram that I saw many years ago, it helped me tremendously. This is an old projector that they used to use here in Los Angeles, in Hollywood. What comes with the projector is a screen. This is not art class, so shut up. <laughs> what goes into the projector comes out on the screen. Is that not correct? What goes in comes out. The projector is your mind. The screen is your life. Everything starts right here. Everything. First it gets into your mind, sinks down into your heart, comes out your mouth. Enters your mind. As a man thinks, so is he. As a man thinks, so is he. How you think about yourself is how you will speak about yourself and your feet will follow your mouth. Your feet will follow your mouth. How you think about others. You know, just a bunch of lazy suckers who don't know anything and no one listens to me and, you know, I got these five reps and they're just lazy and they don't get anything done. And Danny, how do I motivate my husband to do something with his life? <laughs> you might want to motivate yourself to stop nagging. That might be a good start because nagging isn't going to get him to do anything. Telling him what he's doing wrong isn't going to get him to do anything. That doesn't motivate anybody. Shut up might be a good place to start. She's not what you'd expect. She's tough and feisty, but gentle and tender. She makes millions and gives millions to the poor. She cries. She laughs. She teaches. She comforts. This is the Danny Johnson. You see, there are several laws. How many of you read the book First Steps to Wealth? Good job. Who has the book and hasn't read it? Don't be an idiot. Really, Brandy? Oh, I'm going to smack you one. Anyway, in that book, I talk about several, 12 different laws. And uh, the law of reaping and sowing is one of them. And we cannot change that law. What goes into our hearts our, and what comes out of us is what we will reap. What's been sown into us. What's been put into us, what you put into your ears, what you allow your eyes to see, what you allow your mouth to speak, because life and death is in the power of the tongue. And we eat the fruit of what we say. We eat the fruit. I'm afraid. How many of you heard that growing up? I'm afraid. How am I going to pay my bills? We can't afford it. How many of you heard these things? You see, that words are seed. And every single time we say it, we're speaking death over our very finances as well as our future. We're cutting off opportunity instead of creating opportunity. And so what goes into that projector comes out in your life. Just as what's on the screen right now, that camera, wherever it is, that camera is capturing an image. I do not have black hair on that screen. Um, I'm not wearing a black shirt, am I, on that screen? I'm not wearing a black shirt here. I'm not wearing a black shirt there. Whatever it is that it captures, whatever the, the, the mind captures, it projects itself in life. So how you see things is the reality in which you live in. And who controls what you see? You control what you see. You're in complete control over what you hear and what you see. You choose to receive an image. And then that image projects in your life. So I can't afford it shows up all over your life. I'm fat shows up all over your life. My dad said I was fat. I believed him. Was I fat when he said I was fat? No, but I certainly became one. I certainly gained 50 pounds when I was 18 because I believed what he said about me. I gained and lost 50 pounds four times from 18 to 22, and that was in between pregnancies. That wasn't even pregnant. I actually lost weight when I was pregnant. Maybe I should try that again. <laughs> what you believe, you receive. So 98% of the population has imaging that goes inside of this all day, and then they curse this. They, I don't know how I ended up broke. I don't know how I got fired. I don't know how I ended up divorced. I don't know how, and everyone else is to blame. But the reality is it all started right here. It really does. People all the time, well, you know, they play the victim of, oh, well, you know, I tried that business and it didn't work for me. No, you didn't work that business to the fullest. You didn't work it with the skills that you needed. Do you understand what I'm saying? But people like to blame their circumstances and take, instead of going, wait a second, what's my part in this mess? So what goes in comes out. So let me ask you this, you know, 
98% of the population lacks vision. They lack vision, they complain about what they don't have, but they don't know what they want. They just want what somebody else has, but they have no idea what they want for themselves. They have no idea what their own deep desires are. So I want you to think about this, because 2% of the population has a very strong vision. Very powerful. They have a vision that is bigger than paying off debt. Your vision has to be bigger than paying off debt. If your vision is just dying, not broke, there's a problem here. You're in the wrong room. Don't hang out here. If mediocrity is what you're after, this is not the right spot for you. It's not. This is about becoming in that 2%. And 2% think different, they live different, they make different decisions. And your job is to learn how they think, how they live, how they act, and how they make decisions. Because if you make decisions according to the same way, you're going to get similar results that they got. 